Wagwan peoples, Wagwan, the only thing is your girl, I think it is your American girl. Peace, love, joy, happiness I'm trying to send to you and everybody that's watching this video. And today, this video is specifically talking about the spiritual warfare. So this is part two, because I've spoke of it already. If you guys been tuned into the channel, I just recently, probably a good three weeks ago, spoke on spiritual warfare, warfare, <laughs> spiritual warfare and, um, I was rocking the black how would jesus react shirts here's the white one you can purchase these on www.thepinkworld.com <laughs> you have black and white but if you want a different color or anything please shoot me an inbox shoot me a message on either one of my pages on instagram or whatever and then you can definitely we can chop it up about getting you a different color but back to this got my tea sipping on my Hustle juice, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's another thing. I'm also serving some lollipops as well. They're for sinuses, colds, sicknesses, and stuff like that. It's made with organic honey. You have oregano oil. You have ginger juice, lime juice, cane sugar, water. Those type of um, ingredients are in the lollipops. So you can find those on the website. Okay, you guys. So let's get into this. First, I want to start with a prayer. Because I want God to lead me with these messages. Because I'm getting it from Him. And I want to... I want it to be brief and I want it to be straight from the Lord. I do not want to be speaking off of my own behalf. Understand? So one thing I do want to mention is that I don't want anyone to feel any way towards me. I'm just speaking off of what is being led to speak, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, one thing I do want to let people know is Sometimes you feel in conviction and the conviction is really just like a GPS is to get you back on track to be aligned with what God has in store for you. Conviction is just the feeling of dang, I might be doing something wrong. So let me figure out the right way to go. And you know, that only way is to be praying to Jesus Christ, putting God first and then just fasting and getting back into the word and getting back into knowing where you're supposed to be. When you're aligned with God, then the tingle. So let's get into this word. But before I get into the word, let's say a prayer real fast. Heavenly Father, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for gathering us here today, Lord God. I'm so grateful to be used to spread this message, Father God. Lord God, I ask you to guide and protect every and each, every one who's watching this video, who is on their journey. Father God, I'm grateful and thankful just to be alive today, just to be getting closer to you, Father God, and to be joining a union with people so they can get closer to you as well, Father God. I ask you to use me to speak the words you need me to speak. Show me the way that I need to go and show these beautiful souls the way they need to go, Lord God. Father God, I'm so thankful, again, grateful for this opportunity to use, to be used by you, Father God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So. One thing I want to speak on when it comes to the spiritual warfare is the fruits of the spirit. And I'm going to go over a couple scriptures coming out of my iPad, you guys. Um, I did write a couple down, but I want to be able to get through most of these um, scriptures. And I'm going to put them up on the screen as I read them. And spiritual warfare is very, is very outrageous right now. You know what I'm saying? We're not fighting physically, you know what I'm saying? The spiritual warfare with the dark world is what we're fighting against. And the only way we could fight it is by putting God first and let him lead us. And the best way is just to remember the fruits of the spirit. Following the fruits of the spirit is, like I say all the time, peace, love, joy, happiness. But there's more. And to always want to be peaceful, to always want to be positive to always want to be kind and loving it's very 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 hard in this world because as i say spiritual warfare is not the person that's fighting you or the person that you're fighting or the person is of you're not the person it's that spiritual warfare that everyone is going on with including me and yourself it's that spirit that's inside of us that's making us want to think negative making us want to talk and just be negative and i myself and i'm fighting it too we're all fighting this war so let's stick together and stand together and just know that it's not easy but it's easy when you put god first 
And if you could wake up every day and make sure you say that prayer to ask God to lead and guide you throughout your path of the day, I promise you that even if you slip up a little bit, you're going to get back on track. Don't be those people who slip up and just stay slipping and slipping and just don't want to get back up. Get back up again. He without sin cast the first stone. Not everybody, everybody in this world is, they've sinned. Everybody has sinned. So it's more like we can't even point fingers at anybody. Everybody be so quick to say the LGBT people, however you say their name. That's how you know I'll be talking about them. <laughs> They're going to hell and all these crazy people going to hell. When he kill, he going to hell. When he still, he going to hell. We all sin. So if that's the fact, if that's the case, we all going to hell, right? That's not what God wants. He wants to save everyone. And that's why God is within every single body. God is inside of everyone. Even the people that's doing crazy. That's why I don't too, I pretty much, I probably used to be this way and I'm, I apologize. But I do not want to be, I don't want to be that person that's ready to criticize people knowing that everybody sin. No sin is better than the other. You know what I'm saying? So real fast, we're going to get into this word and I'm about to just speak on a couple scriptures that I found in the Bible that I found on this app that speaks on the fruits of the spirit. This is what we need to fight in the spiritual warfare. Let's get to it. I'm oh, sorry, y'all. I had to go put my ring on because then the thing, a girl is married now. I am happily married. You know what I'm saying? No marriage is perfect, but you have to get through it. And that's the part of the spiritual warfare as well. You got to be able to know that you're not fighting your person. You're fighting the enemy. You're fighting these spirits. And the best way to fight these spirits is how we about to get through it. So the first scripture I'm going to be coming from is Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23 it reads but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace forbearance kindness goodness faithfulness 23 gentleness and self-control against such things there is no law all right so if you can carry out all these fruits of the spirit throughout your day you're winning there's no law you're winning all right, this is something I'm trying to keep in my head as well because, like I said, I'm fighting these battles the same as you guys are. I'm not perfect, and I don't think any of us is perfect like how Jesus was perfect. So the best thing we can know is that Jesus lays within us. He is inside of us. He's each and every one of us. It's not like back in the day when Jesus used to just appear and stuff. No, it's not like when Moses and God, God appeared in the burning bush. No, it's not like that anymore. They're inside of us. So all we got to do is put them first, pray fast, and ask for guidance. Ask for discernment and just let him lead the way. Just humble yourself and then just allow him to move in your mind. That person that's talking inside of you is not you. All right? So let's get to this next one. John 1, 4, 16. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God, and God in them. What did I just say to y'all? Exactly. God is inside of all of us. We have to know this. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. Whew, that one's... Mm. and it keeps no record of wrongs that's why it's like when you know you did something just repent and get back on track get convicted and get back aligned use your gps which is conviction and get back aligned with god there is no record of wrongs <sighs> love that this is verse six now love does not delight in evil but rejoices in truth it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. One thing I want to speak on real fast is how a lot of people is saying, oh, if God is real, then why? 
why is so much evil going on in the world? Why so much killing? Why so much hurting with kids and all this stuff? Y'all need to know that God is love. As John 1, 4, verse 16 said, God is love. But one thing he did do is give us all the free choice of will. He gives us a choice. So us as people is choosing to do wrong. when We all could be choosing to do right. And God is not just about to make us all do right. He give you a choice and he's giving you a choice to see if you're going to follow him or you're going to do your own thing. So a lot of the crazy stuff in the world that's happening, we can't keep putting that on God. We can't blame God because it's like um, China McLean. I know she said this in her um, Instagram story the other day. She was saying how it's like giving somebody love potion. Say I said I don't like you, right? And I just don't love you. But then you give me a love potion and then I love you. Now I'm crazy for you. That's kind of stealing. That's not right. That's wicked. So why would God just put love in all of us like that? No, he gives us a free choice of will to see who's going to choose his way and who's going to choose the other way. If that makes sense to any of you guys. All right, so let's get back into this. Romans 5 verses 1. Therefore, since we have justified through faith... We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. The only way through God is through his son Jesus Christ. And everybody needs to know the only way to get to the kingdom, which Jesus is the king, is through Jesus. So you have to be born again with spirit and water. All right? So let's go to Nehemiah chapter 8, verses 10. Nehemiah said, Go and enjoy choice food and sweet drinks and send some of those who have nothing prepared send some to those who have nothing prepared sorry <laughs> this day is holy to our lord do not grieve for the joy of the lord is your strength do not grieve do not be hurt because the joy of the lord is your strength you feel me all right so let's get to romans 15 13. may the god of hope fill you with all love, joy, peace, as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Colossians 1, verses 11. Being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may be great, so that you may have great endurance and patience. I gotta, I gotta quote that. Make sure you follow me on ipinky underscore official. I'll be quoting a lot of Bible verses. I got to quote that one right there. Okay, the next one is Ephesians 4, verse 2. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. That right there in this world can be so tough. But if you just practice, practice, practice to be humble and be of love, even when people is pissing you off. And I'm still working on that. Okay? Okay. <laughs> 2 Corinthians chapter 6, 6 through 7. In purity, understanding, patience, and kindness, in the Holy Spirit, and in sincere love, in truthful speech, and in power of God, with weapons of righteousness in the right hand and in the left. Ephesians 5, verses 9. For the fruits of light consist of all goodness, righteousness, and truth. Ephesians 3, 16 through 17. I pray out of this of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell within your heart through faith and I pray that you be rooted and established in love Galatians 6 chapter 1 Brothers and sisters if someone is caught in a sin you who live by the spirit should restore that person gently but watch yourself or you also may be tempted. This one right here is something serious because if you know somebody that's caught in sin, it's telling you who live by the spirit to restore that person gently. That could be hard. I could give you an example. I can see my husband do something that's very much not something that I agree with and I'll get triggered and I don't be soft and gentle. 
and that is something that is very hard to practice and I've been walking with God so I know for a fact that it's hard to practice but then again it said watch yourself because you might be tempted so you might end up doing what they did so it's a lot it's easy for somebody to be gentle and humble but then while being gentle and humble you end up doing what they did because you didn't even talk about it you didn't even try to fix it so it's so hard and easy at the same time. So the best thing to do is always be humble, but set boundaries and know that you put that in your head that you will never do what that person did. But you can be humble enough to tell that person that, yo, that ain't right. This is the way you should do it in a sweet, gentle way. And that's something I'm practicing too. And that's the reason for these videos. This is a part two of spiritual warfare because it is hard. This spiritual warfare is hard. And that's why I'm gonna keep talking. I might have a part three to it. It is hard because the spirit, mind you, we're not fighting physically. We're not fighting these skin, this flesh. No, it's the spirit that we're fighting. So you can't even see when the spirit is attacking you. You just have to catch it, catch yourself and make sure you always walking with the fruits of the spirit last one second peters chapter one five through seven for this very reason make every effort to add your faith goodness and to goodness knowledge and to knowledge self-control and to self-control perseverance and to perseverance godliness and to godliness mutual affection and to mutual affection love I love that it ended with this one because that one was very powerful. You guys, I hope you guys took in everything that we spoke on today. I love you guys so much. And I just wanted to help you guys get through the spiritual warfare because it is something serious. You know what I'm saying? Very serious. And we all need to stick together and we need to bound together. We need to come together and make sure we're praying this all. So I will make sure I'm fasting for you guys. I will make sure I'm speaking highly of all you guys watching this even though if i don't know your names i'm praying over every soul that is watching this video i'm grateful that y'all made it to this video i'm grateful y'all made it to my channel and i'm just grateful to be helping y'all walk walk with god and walk with christ in jesus name peace love joy and happiness make sure you tuned into my website at www.thepinkroad.com for all the beautiful magic that i'm pushing out there into the world you guys god is using me to save souls and i'm grateful that i'm being used and i'm thankful and i'm so happy like it's beyond oh snap what's going people come here come here you guys come here let me talk to y'all real quick about the eye rose patrol and don't know anything. It's on the website at www.thepinkworld.com. D-I-P-I-N-K-W-O-R-L-D.com. Just go off. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, snap, y'all here again. Okay, so since I have y'all attention, let's talk about these lollipops that's coming out soon, right? So I know you guys have allergies, sore throats. This is for people with sinuses, colds, and all that because it's organically made. You know what I'm saying? You got cloves. You got organic honey. You got lime juice. You got ginger juice. You got water. And you got organic cane sugar. You know what I'm saying? And let's not forget the oregano oil that's dropped up in here too. So this is a healing lollipop.